Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Sunday the 19th of February 2023, and I am reviewing this Fortnite Master Grade series, the Foundation Dark Action Figure. Now, if you're watching this a few days or weeks later, then maybe you want to consider joining the Patreon, link in the top right of the screen now, and you can see all the videos as soon as they are uploaded. You also get free and inclusive entries into our prize doors and raffles, and extra footage and things you can't see anywhere else on the internet. Okay, so have a quick look at the box. Initially, I wasn't going to bomb, so I thought it just was the scientist sort of repackaged, but actually it's a different body. It does look really, really good. Inside, it's got this really nice gun. This one here, I'm guessing that's a sword of swords. doesn't do much for me, and looks like a cloak there and whatever the extra extra wrap thing is there i don't know but i'll be sharing that so whoever watches that can use that um says seven pieces one two three four five six seven so there are three different heads as well which is fantastic so i might buy four more so i have one each of the heads and have the scientist as a leader and maybe the visitor as the soldiers who knows uh on the back it shows omega knight who i reviewed already see top right of the screen now and it also shows uh, the other Master Grade that I reviewed recently, um, Southpaw, who is just dying here. Who's also a pretty cool figure, a figure, and again, her review will be in the top right. But honestly, if you haven't seen it, Omega Knight 1, do watch that and do get that, because that is an amazing figure. Okay, so the only thing for me to do is to unbox this, set it up, and let's get into this. So I'll be back in an instant. So here he is, he does look particularly good. That sort of sword thing on his arm looks far better on a video than in real life. The way the white is popping on the video looks like it's like a lit up. Now, I'm confused by extra wrap because it's not a scratch off thing. There's nothing there and there's no numbers underneath. You can even see if I look for the paper, there's nothing there. So I don't know what that is. I think I had one something sim previously. I had another sheet underneath with a number. So I with the, which one? with this one here and it had underneath dying ah, okay a code but this had nothing underneath just a piece of paper so I'm a bit confused right. okay so he comes with his head to see because I'm going to have to turn the light on for this maybe let's try and get a focus okay so sort of looking eyes there on number one number two and then number three slightly there Okay, let's get a close look at him. So here he is. Now, things I don't like, he's feel a bit loose in his hips. A little bit. But he does look good. The head's pretty nice. That sword arm, you can see it doesn't look quite as good now. It's away from there, but it fits very nicely on his arm. The sculpting is fantastic. I'm not so keen on this part here and the straps because, look, he can't really go forwards because of that uh, the gun is really good very nice looking but I'll be tempted to hollow out the barrels the cloak is pretty cool just a side plug in and then sits over his shoulder the sculpting is pretty good I'm not sure why though we have a screw on the back I'm gonna unscrew that in a second and see what be interested to see what is actually underneath there hmm Curious. So let's do his articulation first, then we'll have a look. So take these sort of sword thing, laser weapon, energy weapon off. Okay, so articulation, yeah, I don't think it's going to be as good as I'd like, but let's see. So head, left and right is really good. Let's get a focus going again, left and right, up. <sighs> Pops off, oh, it's got a silver thing, not silver. It's got a uh, clear... I think ah oh, I think I know how it I think that lights up. That's to be it. So where's the on-off switch to light him up? I don't know. That will light up and that will light the head up. That's what I think will happen. So is there a switch anywhere that I've missed? Hmm. Is that a button there? 
how to make it work i don't know anyway so the, <laughs> so the head does side to side like this there is a small up and down but not a lot arms all the way around shoulders Ugh. he does get to flat biceps this has got that new uh ratchet system it gets 90 degrees really nice about 90 on both trunk i think this lights up as well trunk there is nothing waist there is nothing because of the innards i suspect uh hips so far could go further but that's sort of getting in the way and the hips are too loose forwards terrible on this leg that's it look that's nothing other leg is slightly better backwards is not great on either there is no thigh or is there oh there's a thigh turn on this one and that one but this gets in the way double kneecap gets nice and tight uh there is a swivel on the feet in and out he has a really good tippy toe has to be said his dorsiflexation is not bad too okay so let's have a quick look inside there was nothing in there about batteries and i can't see a switch it looks like that could be a switch there got a little screwdriver here but that doesn't as far as i know push in or go down uh, let's do this and have a look and see what goes inside okay that's nearly there okay let's get that off that's quite a long screw for that little figure. Now there are batteries in there, but I can't see the switch. So where is the switch? Maybe these batteries are dead. Let's have a look. Is there anything that's a switch on in that I can see? Hmm. Is there any missing between the contact that I'm missing? All right, let me just have a quick look at this, and I'll come back in a second and see if I've got it working. So back in a moment. Okay, I'm back, and you guys are probably screaming at the screen, there's a switch, which I missed. Uh, and I did miss it. This part doesn't light up, but the head does. So if you look on the back here, this little switch just here, if I flip it up, you get this really nice effect on the head. So if I pop heads off, we can get a look at the other heads as well. So it's slightly different again. Number three. Very nice. And then the last one, number four. And then back. <laughs> so I'm a bit stiff, there we go. To number one. I do like that, that is a pretty cool effect you have to say if i just there you go if i zoom in from this angle here we get a better look it does look pretty good i have to say i wish all of their well i wish more of their figures could do something like this you know so you've got figures like um the visitor and the scientist have similar heads but i don't think they're translucent enough i'll have a look in a second very very nice indeed Okay, let's just turn that off for a second. You know what, I'm going to leave it on, in fact, I think. Let's get an idea of his size, and we'll do a little comparison with some other stuff as well. Very cool. And down a little bit, there we go. So, height-wise, so articulation is less, but that's because of the um, innards. We can see that he's about 10.5 cm. If I compare him to 
uh, was this the first, was the visitor, visitor the first one to have that sort of head? So let me just quickly pop off the visitor's head. You see the visitor's head is not translucent inside, so you won't get the same thing. So if I got the visitor here, pop his head back on. Yeah, I think the visitor is going to be joining this little squad. And then we have the scientist whose legs are not on him at the moment, but that head is similar again. But I don't think that head has the um, ability to light up because I don't believe it again that there is a translucent enough on the inside. But can I pull it off now or do I do it a bit later? I think I'm not going to manage it now. Okay, so I'll do that another time. Okay, let's compare him with my favorite Omega Knight. Very, very cool. Since he's sci fi, let me use something a bit more sci fi. I use this Epoch Capsule Toy Skeleton Android. Stick him next to the visitor there. He does look good, I have to say. And then last one, let's zoom out a little bit, bit more space. And I will use again one of the yeah, one of the joy toy ones, but not really a sci-fi, but it looks kind of sci-fi there. And you see that it scales well really nicely with your other 118 scale action figures. Really, really nice. I think I will be picking up another. It comes with three heads, so if I get another three. I can have four with different heads sort of lighting up. That'll look pretty damn cool. And then I will have to get another scientist since I was taking his legs with something else to act as like the uh, leader of the squad or the heavy or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do some repaints in the future. Plus, this gun is so nice. Just needs to have a bit of paint on the scope, a bit of drilling perhaps in the barrels to uh, indent or hollow out. And you've got another really nice looking gun here. Very, very cool indeed. Very good figure. I like that a lot. Now I've got to try and find the time or, and the money to order some more. And hopefully the wife won't know that I've uh, ordered them. Though she's looking at me now smiling because she, she'll be at home to let them when deliveries come. Good figure. Great job by Jazzwares. This is going to be popular with that lighting head, I'm sure. Okay. Let me get into an action pose to finish, which might be a bit difficult since... um. The limited articulation on that, especially that left leg there, might require some cutting. But I think it'd be worth it. And that gun is just so good as for a sci-fi gun. In fact, do I keep it on or not? Let's keep it on that way. You see his shoulder's a bit loose as well. In fact, let's go that way because that'd be easier for him to do. Not enough. Very cool figure. Okay, this is All Snatch Toys signing out saying please consider joining Patreon. Link in the video description below. And I'll see you next video here. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.